getting a, a lot of guys reps, you know, working a lot of going back to work, a lot of fundamentals and technique and base stuff that, uh, you know, within the, in the kicking game, offense, defense, um, you know, that you don't always get all those reps during the week of a regular game week within the game preparation and the planning and the scheming. And uh, a lot of reps for other guys, you know, I mean, I, I think guys this far, one, one of the things that we've done a great job with is when guys' numbers have been called, they've stepped in and made big plays. And, uh, and performed at a high level. So, you know, a lot of the focus, I think guys see that now and understand that. So there's a lot of guys that might not get as many reps on Saturday, have the opportunity to come out today, and they know they got to work because when that number's called, they got to be ready to go. I mean, guys like a quad Antoine, the number's called, makes a big play. You know, I, like a, a Devin Desper, who to me this week didn't take a snap on the O-line. Uh, but last week plays a whole game and helps us beat Texas A&M. And, uh, you know, so they don't – you never know when that's going to be called. So the maturity of the guys and some of our younger guys, that preparation that comes into it, that they're getting ready for their moment, and they know this is a huge week for them to get those reps and get ready to go. Related that's, to that, have the, the most redshirt decisions made at this point, or barring uh, the next You know, I mean, it's, it's tough. We had an injury Saturday. I'll give Des Harris is out for the year, uh, ACL. So – you know, I mean, that's something there. I mean, we got some young linebackers that are sitting right there that are good players that I, I think are, you know, good enough to play, and now there might be opportunities for them to go play this year. Um, you know, so we're, we're still at the halfway point. We're getting close where I don't like to after this. Um, but, you know, it'll be in the next two weeks probably that you decide, but there's there's always that opportunity for guys to go play and, and make significant impacts. Does this team have any weaknesses right now? Oh, we have tons of weaknesses. I don't know. I watched the game film right there. We turned the ball over four times. Uh, we weren't very good on third down in the second half. Um, you know, we gave up a 99-yard touchdown drive uh, during the game. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I think we need to really re- improve on as a football team. And, um, you know, and so uh, – but I do think this what the team does is play very well together as a team. That, you know, the offense picks up the defense, defense picks up the offense, special teams. Everybody plays very well together as a team. And when we need things to happen, they happen. You know, when we need a big drive, the offense usually comes up with a big drive. When we need a big stop, we get a big stop on defense. Um, and, uh, you know, and I think the guys all believe in each other as a team that way. And that's that's one of the things that's uh, that's helped us you talk succeed about, so far. You talk about this team finding ways to win. When you, when you look at that, what you related back to last year at Arkansas where they really started to learn how to win? I, I do. I think, well, you know, it's a couple situations last year. And, and, you know, you look at the team from last year where we have a lot of the same guys here uh, that played a lot of really good teams really close and then at the end found ways to win those games. And I think that confidence uh, really picked everybody up in the spring. And I, I think, you know, what happened is a lot of guys were playing and they were looking for Nico Whitley or something like that to go make the play to win the game for us, or Perkins. Um, you know, and I think the guys this year now, all those guys that have played, they said, okay, now it's my turn to go make plays. And it's not one or two, it's just a large number of them. And then when that's the expectation of practice, um, I think you see it trickles down and more and more people just expect to go make plays when, they're, when their number's called. Do you have an update on Jamie on and Devin? Uh, Devin Desper was punting today. But Bell. Uh, Devin, oh, Devin Bell. <laughs> That's a story. Yeah. It <laughs> wasn't very good. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Devin Bell was punting today. Uh, should start kicking on Thursday, so he should be clear to go. Uh, Jamie on, we're resting again this week, but uh, part of that is he's expected to be 100% uh, next Monday when we start game week preparation. And, uh, you know, part of that was the deal was, you know, we met with all the team doctors. If, if By not playing last week, uh, for Kentucky, we'd ex- they'd expect him to be back 100%, which is instead of him, you know, kind of maybe not getting there for an extended period of time. So we made that decision not to play him. This is the fastest rise through the polls in college football history. Yeah. It took you five weeks to go from unranked to uh, to rank number one. Have you even reflected on that, how fast it went? And just uh, kind of reflect on that, that journey, how quick it was. Uh, I guess my biggest reflection is to make sure it's not the fastest fall either. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that, I mean, that's our focus right now is, uh, but play one game at a time. I, I, the polls and all that stuff is kind of neat. It's cool. Um, don't need much. We could be home this weekend and we could drop in polls. 
But just sitting at home on my couch playing with my kids, and all of a sudden we dropped the balls. I don't know if we did anything bad. Playing with my kids, it's a great time. We could drop. <laughs> um, the last bye week, I sat at home playing with my kids, and we jumped up. It was pretty cool. It was awesome. Uh, <laughs> didn't even have to do anything if we rose in the pole. So I think that aspect of it to us, I think our kids take very uh, – they, I think they enjoy it. I think it's a neat deal. It's a great experience. I think it's even more uh, – I, to me, it's bigger for the people of Mississippi is what it is, you know, because I think there's a lot of rankings and polls and all that stuff done on everything um, that you possibly can find out there. And for the people of Mississippi to say, hey, we're number one in something that's really, really important to us, football uh, is really special in our fan base. I think that's really neat and that's really special. Within our program, I think we understand that um, it's just a poll and, and we're really going to be judged on how we do in SEC play. Has it become more difficult to keep the players narrow-minded with a sense of now Twitter and Facebook and 24-hour sports and that it's harder to get away from it than it was maybe when you were at Florida? No, I mean you were under the you lived in a glass house of Florida too. I mean okay. you know when you get when you know what I think when you get here we talk to our guys about that. I mean it's it's just always around, um, and but I tell them to embrace it. Right, I like my line I have. Right, they. They can feel like number one out there, but when they come here, we make them feel like they're number two when they leave, right? The, uh, metaphor on that line. <laughs> so they walk out the building, they know that it's all back to hard work. And uh, so, you know, that, that aspect of it, I think it does keep a lot in check for them. Uh, that They know that they really haven't, I mean, we've accomplished so much, but really also so little, and that there's an awful lot of work to be done. I don't what know. Is it? Oh, go ahead, then. What is it with the Stephens when they get into the red zone? When an offense gets into the red zone, they're just so good. What is well, it? we practice a lot in the red zone, you know what I mean? And um, spend a lot of time. That's part of You look at our, our four steps in the plan to win. Red zone scoring is a huge one. It, you know, and, and that was the difference in the game on Saturday. You know, is touch, you know, if we get down there, we have to get touchdowns. They, the other team gets down there, we hold them to field goal attempts. And, um, you know, or not, no, nothing at all. And we spend a lot of time on that in training camp and everything and practice during the week within our plan um, because that is a critical aspect of the game. You know, play great defense. Uh, it, it, number one it is always the most important. Red zone scoring, turnovers, uh, and special teams. And those are how you win football games. And that, to me, is a huge part of the program. I don't know how much you, you follow the news, but I, you've seen about Todd Gurley and the autograph situation oh, yeah. and, and Jameis Winston with the yeah, autographs. about ISIS or something. No, no. <laughs> do you, no ISIS <laughs> questions. Today. But do, do you worry about, you know, especially since Dak is getting yeah. so, do you worry about autographs? Do you tell them about different We worry about all that or, stuff. Uh, we cover it all the time with our guys. You know, we cover it in training camp. We cover it multiple times. We had a meet, meeting on Monday about it all because it's a bye week. We covered him. You know, in bi you know when you have time that you really go – Maybe not regular game week, you know, when you're in that routine, but you have extra time to do stuff. Uh, you know, cover every aspect of, of things that are out there. Um, you know, and, and it's a shame because, you know, again, these guys are 18 to 22-year-old kids. And uh, I, I don't want to make excuses for them that they, you know, they should know better in a lot of these situations. But there are a lot of people out there trying to come take advantage of these kids. You know, and I, I think that's a shame. And, you know, because... Um, they're just college kids, you know? I mean, there's, I, I don't think there's a lot of people out trying to scam everybody at the Sigma Chi house tonight, you know? But there's people out there going to try to see what they can do about the football players um, and, and some of it. So I think that aspect is you always have to remind them because, uh, you know, for our guys right now with all this attention, they, they do get special attention. I mean, they are treated special on campus. I mean, right? I mean, there's probably girls talking to them that wouldn't talk to them normally or, you know, people cheering for them and professors are like, oh, it's so great that you're doing all this. You know, but with that comes tremendous responsibilities that everybody has an eye on everything that you do and everything you say. And, and to remind kids like that, um, we try to all the time uh, and try to protect them. But, and again, they're still college kids. I mean, I still do dumb things and I'm 42. And, you know, I mean, you should have seen all the dumb things I was doing, right, when I was 21. Do you try to limit their autographs or anything? Just that issue specifically? Uh, you know, I don't. I mean, I do personally, right. but uh, you know, with our guys, I don't. We have fan days. Sure. You know, I mean, if you want an autograph, come to fan day. We do. We do special things for all of that stuff. Right. Uh, with people now, and but we also tell them. You know what I mean? If there's, you know, I mean, a little kid that's, you know, I, I tell our guys. You know, I, I was talking to, like Jay Hughes. 
I mean, if you're, if you're going home to the uh, Oak Grove High School football game where you played high school football and a kid's got his Oak Grove hat and he's like, oh, my goodness, it's Jay Hughes, I'm my, my high school football hat, chances are it's good. <laughs> you know, if a guy's got a big duffel bag with six <laughs> things in it and he's like, he says no to you and then two minutes later there's, a, there's another little kid running up to you, hey, can you do this? And he just paid money to go do as a runner to try to sell it all on eBay. That's bad. Um, and, you know, I think you can tell the difference a lot with our kids with all that stuff. Um, I think we do a lot of that, but, you know, I tell guys, I mean, they're not, there's times that we do that and there's times we don't, and, you know, you don't have to do it all the time.